So, Lee, that ends the season with a four-all draw. First of all, what are your thoughts on that game? Oh, it was up and down, to be fair. I mean, you know, they made quite a few changes, but, you know, we've had seven or eight in the, in the treatment room, as, as we well know, and started with a lot of young lads out there today, and I thought that showed a little bit in the, the first 10, 15 minutes before we started the game well. Um, we didn't quite get to grips with how they um, how they were playing after that, and it caused us a few problems. But um, yeah, so made a couple of substitutions at half time and took a couple of younger lads off. But good experience for them to get on there against like the league players last year, playing in a, in a big football club and in the playoffs. So that was a good chance for them to get to play against them. So yeah, some uh, some much better football in the second half. Much much braver with the football. Much more energetic in the second half. And um, yeah, it was a it was a good game for the neutral. But we were up, we were down, and we were behind and back again. And you know, the lads showed some great character today, and that's that's the sign of of a of a team that don't want to give up, and that's a good good sign. So that's what I want to bring to the club. You know, I, want, I want the lads to be working hard, to have the quality and the bravery to get on the ball and play, and give give the fans something to um, to cheer about. I thought we'd done that in the second half. Yeah, absolutely. With obviously nothing to play for in terms of league positions. Was that um, a really positive afternoon for the last game of the season? There's still some desire there, some good goals going forward and some good games for the youngsters. Yeah, I think so. I think um, the fans were going today and, and again would have seen like um, a team that were all working hard for each other, certainly in the second half, to be able to be competitive with a good, with a good side. And uh, Paul Weiss has done a good job there and hopefully they, they go and do well in the playoffs. Um, you know, obviously, obviously had one eye on that with resting a few people out, but... Um, yeah, it's still a good team and um, fingers crossed they can and go and bounce back again. Yeah, almost 3,500 here today, our biggest crowd of the season. How good was that and how good was the atmosphere today to, to end the season in a more positive note than how things have been? Yeah, great. And, and the club's going from strength to strength and uh, you know and the fan base is going up and we really need to encourage the, the fans to get the season tickets, get people to come along with them. And you know, I can't believe the price of the season ticket until I was told at the fans forum the other day how... How much they try and look after the, the fans here and um, give them a, a, a good experience, and um, I'm trying to do my part now by trying to give them a good experience with a with a um, bit on the grass. So um, we've got a tough summer ahead of us. Um, people are come and go, and uh, you know, but I, I, I'm thankful to the lads today for whether they've been here for a year or for for ten years that they've always worked hard for this football club and put the club first and um, that's important and some good people so I um, had some tough conversations over the last couple of days so um, but I'm doing it all in the vein of, of trying to make this club a better one for next season yeah. You mentioned there that the players were, were celebrated after as well with their end of season awards it's obviously customary at the end of the year but how good is it that they could you know, receive their accolades and receive the, um, you know, the, the mention for the work they have done this year Yeah, it's really important I was actually very um, very pleased that we did end up getting a, a point out of the game um, because it would have been a bit of a, a bit of a dour one if we we'd lost the game late and um, we we didn't um, really have anything to celebrate. But we, we stuck with it and got back in the game, so there was it was a better atmosphere around the ground afterwards. And um, yeah, I thank all the fans for staying behind as well. And it, it's still here now trying to get boots and shin pads and shirts off of some of the players. So uh, yeah, uh, hopefully we can we can attract some more back here next season. So yeah, and then lastly, as you mentioned, big summer ahead of us. In terms of the next week or so, what's that look like for you in terms of the conversations you mentioned you have to have with players? Yeah, I've still got um, you know, 12, 14 to speak, to speak to. Um, but yeah, and then, then we start planning from, you know, f well, we're planning now for next season. And we have been since I came through the door. Um, with not just the team, but things like we want to improve around the club. I was set the task to come in and get us safe and, and look at the team, look at the club, try and improve it whether it be behind the scenes or, and on the grass. Um, and to be fair, the club has been excellent since I've been here. I've been very impressed with uh, with the setup and and the personnel within the club. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to next season. Um, be able to get a team that I think can compete at the right end of the, the table. And that is something that excites me. And hopefully it will excite the fans going forward.